Hi, how is everyone? I hope y'all are all having a fantastic weekend. We finally have some sunshine here. I live in East Texas, so it has just been raining cats and dogs. So it finally, you know, the sun has come out. So that's nice. So anyways, um, okay, first and foremost, it is time to announce the winners. Um, there's a first and second place winner and they are both right here. And congratulations to both of y'all. Um, I also want to say I am going to be having another giveaway starting right now. They kind of both ran into each other. Um, I went out of town for about five days to go see my family. And so everything just kind of, you know, ended up happening at the same time. But I have been picking up a lot of Halloween items, you know, the past month or so and been planning on a giveaway this whole time. So I want to hurry up and do that. That way um, I can get those Halloween items to the winner and they can actually use them for Halloween because I mean, we are just so close to October already. It has come so fast. So it will be the same rules as before. I will have everything linked below as well. Um, just have to be 18. Um, like, subscribe, and comment down below that you want to be entered in the giveaway. Once again, it's going to be all Halloween items. So if you're not really, you know, interested in Halloween, you know, that might not be for you. But definitely stay tuned as well because I am going to be having a lot of giveaways coming up. I'm going to be having a beauty one, Thanksgiving one, Christmas one. So just a lot of fun stuff that I've already been grabbing as they've been putting everything out. So. Also, I will leave my email address in the description box so the two winners um, contact me as soon as you can. That way I can get that stuff out to you. So anyways, enough of that. I found a ton of great things this week. Um, and like I said, I was able to go back home. Well, there's a lot more Dollar Trees there and there's one that is humongous and amazing and I love it. So I found a lot of stuff. So I have a lot to show y'all. So we will just jump right in. Um, the first things that I found that I just absolutely love were these wall hooks. And I just thought that they were so pretty. They look like these, I, I can't ever remember. Are they called geodes or something like that? But there was kind of like this turquoise color one and then there is this pink one that is so pretty. They just have these bronze um, um, hooks on them. And then my favorite was this really pretty deep blue color. So I bought a couple of these and I just thought it would look really pretty to do like one of these, the pink one, the turquoise, and then another blue. So I just really, really loved those. Look how pretty those are. And I mean, for a dollar, you just, in my opinion, you just cannot beat that. So, okay, and I do have a few more Halloween items um, this week as well. Um, I found so many great crafting things um, at the one back home. I haven't been able to find a whole lot at my store here yet, but hopefully I will start getting some. Um, these first couple things are glass paint brush markers, which I just never have at my store. And these are from, these are just from Greenbrier. So I got it in white and I also got it in black. And they did have a few other colors as well, but I just thought that I would probably use those the most. And then I found these really cool flowers. Um, and I believe, yes, they just have an adhesive on the back, but I found these really pretty black ones. There's two there. And then I found this huge pink bow. So nice. These are all from Jolie's Boutique. And this just has an adhesive on the back as well. And then these are probably my favorite, kind of like these sage green um, little flowers. And in this size, you got two. So those were all I was able to find so far, but I really, really liked those. So definitely had to go ahead and grab them. And then I found these jewels and gems there's 55 in here and i just really like the color of them if you can see that um kind of like a rainbowish color they also had hearts 
but I think that these will be great to use for anything, um, really. Um, and then I found these labels here. These are Chalk It Now chalkboard labels from K and Company, and there are four in here. And if you can see right here, you know, they just have it on a jar, and then you can actually write on here whatever you want. It says it's repositional, and there are four in here. And um, they did also have these in bright pink, and then they did also have one that was oval, and there was actually six in that pack, but I just grabbed these for now. And then I found um, these really neat, let's see, there's 45 in here, and just another crafting idea. It's just these black gems, and see like right here, they have it on the back of an, like a iPhone case or whatever kind of phone, but I thought that that was really neat. A lot of this stuff I don't, you know, necessarily have a plan for right away, but I always end up, well, I can't say always because I have a lot of stickers I haven't used, but I just really love all their stickers. So, you know, you might have something for six months and then you just get the perfect idea for it and you're so happy you have them. So I just always grab stuff like that when I find it. And then I found just these really pretty stickers. These are from Sticko and there are 15 in here. Really neat. Just kind of have like a wood look to it. I really liked those and then these have 18 and I just thought those were really neat as well they kind of reminded me of like Tetris for some reason I guess just the way the little blocks look but I just really like those stickers so I had to go ahead and grab them and then these are super neat I mean I couldn't believe they had these for a dollar these are from EK tools and there's two of them in here and it's just those scissors that cut and leave different edges on there. So I just thought that was so, so cool. I know I will use these for sure. Um, let's see, it's two different types of edges. One is a border and one is scallop. So it shows you right here on the back. And this was the only kind um, that I found, but I am really excited about these. I know I will use those for sure. Okay. And then I found um, these folding scissors, and these are stainless steel. I just thought that these were um, a really great find, something great to have in your purse. You never know when you're gonna need scissors. So I grabbed those. Um, I have a lot of small, really cutesy things too. Um, I also found these zip ties. And I never find the gigantic ones like this. So I know that's not very exciting, but these things always come in handy. And if you buy these anywhere else, they are definitely not a dollar. So I was really happy to find those. Oh, another thing I was really happy to find is if I can show y'all this. Okay, which one did I get? I got the wet dry flat mop head. Okay, so. Basically, you have these, you have to buy the pole, and then you have to buy the little swivel thing that just screws on, and then, oh, and it has the little head thing on here, and then you buy whatever kind of pad you want, but I really wanted this one because this will be great to, like, go under furniture, go under your bed, and they have all different, like, they had two different kinds of mops, mop heads, they had other kinds of pads like this, um, two different kinds of brooms. So, you know, you could buy all the contraptions and just switch it out because they all just screw right on. So I just thought that that was so cool that you could just kind of make your own. So really this thing costs three bucks and I don't think that's bad at all. And I do believe that it said that this is washable. Um, I don't see it right in this moment. But even if you threw it away, it's a dollar. So I don't know. I was pretty excited about this thing because I've never seen anything like that at Dollar Tree before. And then I found, speaking of cleaning, okay, this is the one of the As Seen on TV products. And this is from Hurry Clean, and there are three in here. So basically, it just says you would pour, it comes with three of these packs, and you would pour it in your tank and it says you don't have to scrub or anything and it's gonna clean your tank 
So <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. I definitely want to try it. And it tells you on the back exactly how to use it. I've never seen this before, but pretty much anytime I see something at Dollar Tree that's the ass seen on TV, I am going to buy it because you know that they were at least $9.99 or $19.99. So I will be very curious to see if that works or not. Um, okay, so next, let's see, I found a few kitchen items, or food items, I should say. Um, first is this vanilla chai tea from Tea Vive. Um, there are 20 tea bags in here, and I love hot tea, so I figured that I would really like this. I tried a couple other flavors um, from this brand, but I have never seen the vanilla chai, so... I think that'll be great, especially once it starts getting cold. That's going to be a great, great tea to have. And then I found these baked vegetable crisps, and these are ranch flavor. This is just a two-ounce bag, but it says at per ounce, there's a half serving of vegetables. So I thought that was kind of cool. I thought I'd try those. And then these, let's see, this is three ounces, and these are flatbed crisps but they are grilled and crisp. I, I feel like I'm having a really hard time talking, but I thought that these sounded good and they are simply salted with French velvet gray sea salt, very fancy. So these will probably be great for any kind of dips and like hummus or something like that. So I figure I'll like those. And then I found the huge box of the maple Cheerios. So I am not a maple person, but my boyfriend said that he would like those. So I went ahead and tried them. I know that they did have the peach Cheerios. I saw blueberry checks and also the um, birthday cake cookie crisp. Um, but I had already tried the birthday cake cookie crisp, which is totally my type of cereal. I love the sweet cereals and I was so disappointed in it because I love the normal cookie crisp, but it, ha it had like no flavor to me. So I left the rest of those at the store because I don't like peach either. So um, anyways, but I think that he will really like those um, maple Cheerios. And then, okay, a few beauty items that I found are these brushes and I was really happy to find them. Um, this is the contour and the foundation brush. They did have a smaller eyeshadow brush as well. But I actually have never tried, um, I don't even know what you call call these where the, the brush is like that. You know what I mean? It's not your standard brush. So I am really excited to try these. I think that's kind of small for a foundation brush, but I was thinking like maybe for your under eye powder and then this could maybe be for concealer. I don't know, I was just really excited. Um, like I said, I've never tried a brush like that before. So I really wanted to check them out. And then I found these two face masks. And this first one is um, Pore Refining Hydrogel Face Mask with Aloe Vera and Tea Tree. And these bags just feel so cool. I mean, they are swimming in liquid. So there's, um, it looks very interesting. It feels very interesting. So I grabbed that one. And then I also bought the Cucumber. This is with vitamins A, C, and E. And this says helps to moisturize. So, and this is the hydrogel as well. These just feel really, really neat. What else? Okay, so <laughs> up by the register, I found some super cutesy stuff that I just could not leave there. These first um, two things are these little calendars. And this one is a cat. And he has a little stand. So, I guess you can just take the little boards off as um, time goes by if you can see the numbers on the back and then there's also a french bulldog and there's also one that looked like a little corgi but i just grabbed these two i just thought they were so stinking cute i, I had to get them um okay also i found these um sushi socks which i had to get these are um the they look like tall socks. I hope that they will be on me because I like the really high socks. But I just loved the pattern. Just looks like sushi all over. So I thought that was so cute. And then I found these two keychains. Of course, I had to get these as well. And they both look like little sushi rolls. Look at that. And then there's this one. 
I just absolutely love those. I thought they were so cute. And then I found this trinket tray, little unicorn. And this was the only, the only kind that I saw was just this little unicorn all by herself. And then more Halloween stuff that I bought, which y'all have probably seen, but I just wanted to show y'all what else I have grabbed. Um, I got these, um, let's see, these treat bags. And there are 40 in here, and they just have a spider on them, and they say boo. But what a great deal for 40. I don't necessarily have a plan, but I might just use them, you know, around the house. Not necessarily for Halloween. I thought they were really cute. And then I bought these little spider rings, which I have bought before. And I just kind of use them as decoration during Halloween. I might also put these, I'm going to make a black um, Halloween tree, which I will probably start working on tomorrow. And um, I might glue these all around the tree as well. I'm not um, too sure, but just went ahead and grabbed another pack. And then I also got this really cute Halloween towel. What does it say? Black hats and witches hats. Beware of flying brooms. Happy Halloween. Super cute. And this is like in the microfiber type towel. So there's that. I also got this door cover. I loved the design and I love all of these door covers and window covers. These actually have um, lights in them. So for a dollar, that is a great deal. I had um, some of those last year and they actually work pretty darn good. So I also bought some of these rose petals and these are in the um, wedding area, the bride and groom area. But I thought that you could definitely spray paint these um, purple, black, all different colors and use those all around or you could even maybe add them to a wreath. Just all different types of things that um, I have going on in my head <laughs> for these. So that's why I grabbed those. And then I had to get some of the, um, the creepy cloths. I got the black and I got the white one that looks like it has blood on it. I got a couple of the skeleton hands. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with these. Maybe put them on a wreath as well. I am about to start working on all of that. It has just, like I said, come up just so darn fast. And then I bought this witch's hat. I thought that I could really do some great things. Maybe put some stuffing in the top of the hat have it stand straight up and do some sort of decor with this hat as well. So, like I said, I've got a whole bunch of ideas and now it's time to start um, bringing them to light. And last but not least are the just these um, fabric paints, which these were actually in the um, crafting section and I got the red shiny and the black shiny. And then they also had blue, green, white. They had some other colors but these are 3D, so I thought that maybe you could use these like on some of the skeleton heads, you know, as blood, and then it's 3D, so I thought it could look really, really cool. So that's what I'm going to try those for first. So we'll see how they work. So anyways, that is all for today. Once again, a ton of stuff. Um, I'm super excited to start getting all my Halloween stuff out and start decorating. I think it is definitely time and I am um, really happy about that. So anyways, congratulations again to the winners and don't forget, just started another giveaway. So like I said, I will leave the description box down below. So please comment if you would like to be entered. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and please subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.